Hello truth seekers. Imagine a world where rain falls only when needed, where hurricanes can be stopped before they strike, and where droughts are a thing of the past. What if we could control the weather? This idea, once confined to science fiction, is now closer to reality than you might think. Scientists have been exploring ways to influence weather patterns for decades. Cloud seeding is one of the most well-known techniques. By dispersing substances like silver iodide into clouds, we can encourage rainfall in drought-stricken areas. But what if we could go beyond that? What if we could control storms, regulate temperatures, or even prevent natural disasters? Advances in technology, from AI-driven weather models to geoengineering, are opening up possibilities. These innovations could help us predict, alter, and perhaps even fully control the weather. The benefits of weather control are immense. Imagine a world without devastating hurricanes, where crops receive just the right amount of rain, and wildfires are prevented before they even start. We could stabilize global food supplies, reduce climate-related economic losses, and save countless lives. But with great power comes great responsibility. Controlling the weather isn't without risks. Small changes in one region could have catastrophic effects elsewhere. And who decides which weather patterns are best? Could weather control be weaponized, used as a tool for conflict rather than peace? The ethical dilemmas are profound. We must ask ourselves, are we ready to wield such power? And if we do, how do we ensure it's used for the greater good? Controlling the weather could reshape our world in unimaginable ways, offering solutions to some of our greatest challenges. But it's a power that comes with heavy responsibility. As we inch closer to this reality, we must carefully weigh the benefits against the risks. If you found this thought-provoking, be sure to like, subscribe, and join us for more explorations into the future of our world. Until then, keep seeking the truth.